Hey everyone, Brandon Lee here with Virtualization How To, and today I want to show you an awesome new open source tool that gives Proxmox the modern unified monitoring dashboard that it's always needed. If you've been looking for something that can pull together metrics from Proxmox hosts, cluster nodes, virtual machines, and even Docker containers. That's right, not just monitoring your Proxmox environment, but also your Docker environment. Then this tool is for you. The tool is called Pulse, and it's a lightweight, community-built monitoring platform that was made specifically for Proxmox VE server. So stick around and let's dive right in. So what is Pulse exactly? Well, Pulse is an open source monitoring solution that you can run completely free. It's purpose built for Proxmox VE, and that's one of the things I really like about it. It has hooks that tie in directly with the Proxmox API, and that means it totally understands Proxmox at a native level. And of course, that means you can visualize metrics from your nodes and VMs in a clean web-based dashboard. But the great thing is it doesn't stop there. You can also add and monitor Docker hosts and containers right alongside your Proxmox environment. And for a lot of home labbers, myself included, I think this is a really perfect combination that just makes sense because many of us are running Proxmox for virtualization and then we've got virtualized Docker hosts and running Docker for those self-hosted applications. So once again, this covers the gamut of awesome monitoring that most are going to want for the home lab. Now the goal behind Pulse is pretty simple. It takes all that rich performance data that's already available from your Proxmox backend and it takes that and displays it into a single modern web interface. Now, once you connect Pulse to your cluster, it automatically starts gathering data. And that's one of the things that I noticed about it. It was instant data that was able to be viewed in the web interface and it displays those live metrics across your nodes and virtual machines. The interface I found was extremely clean. It's responsive and it's designed really to give you an at a glance view of your system resources, both for uh, virtual machines, container health, your storage usage on your Proxmox hosts and cluster environments, and much more. The best part is I think that Pulse is super lightweight. It doesn't rely on external databases or huge monitoring stack that's extremely cumbersome to put everything together. Everything in fact runs in inside a single deployment container so that you can easily spin it up on a small virtual machine, an LXC container, or even in a Docker container, which is the installation method that we're going to showcase for the purposes of this video. Now, feature-wise, Pulse is packed with, I think, pretty impressive capabilities. Uh, it automatically discovers your Proxmox node with one-line installation scripts, and it also supports cluster-wide monitoring and includes really strong security mechanisms with things like encrypted credentials, CSRF protection, rate limiting, secure sessions, and bcrypt password hashing. It also has detailed audit logging so that you can track logins for the environment, configuration changes, and alerting over time. Now that's one of the other things about this uh, monitoring stack is the alerting, which we'll get into a little bit later. Now you get live monitoring for your virtual machines, containers, storage, and nodes, and it supports alerting to modern platforms, which I really like. So not just email, but you get things like monitoring alerts sent to Discord, Slack, Telegram, Teams, Gotify, and others. So it has also adaptive thresholds so that you can set those as needed. It has alert history, analytics, Ceph integration if you're running that, backup visibility for Proxmox backup server. Now you also get monitoring for Proxmox mail gateway, and that may not be a solution you're running in your home lab, but it's definitely worth noting that the solution can monitor that also. Now you can export and import encrypted configurations. It also has automatic updates for the solution. And of course, the awesome dark mode and light mode, if you prefer that in a very modern UI that's built in Go. So it's very performant very quick and modern. I deployed Pulse using Docker and the setup was very straightforward. And you can check out the official documentation on GitHub. 
But here's the general flow before we showcase this in a walkthrough. In your Docker Compose file, you set an initial admin credential and a pre-generated API token. Once you have that information and you have those things configured, you just simply run a Docker Compose up-d and the container will come online. Now from there, you browse to port 7655, which is the default port on the default Pulse container to access the web interface. And once you have the container up and running, you'll see the login box appear. And once you sign in with those credentials, you're ready to start adding your Proxmox nodes. Now, when it comes to adding a Proxmox node, this process is fairly simple. In the Pulse dashboard, you're going to head over to your settings page, then choose Add PVE Node. Once you enter the node name and the host URL, you're going to click the copy copy button to get a one line command. This is the command that you're going to copy and paste directly into your Proxmox host and run this from the command line. It installs the monitoring agent and it even asks if you want to enable things like hardware temperature monitoring. Now once that's done and complete, your node registers itself successfully with the Pulse monitoring solution. And immediately after that, you're going to start seeing real-time alerts appear. Things like disk space, CPU load, and memory pressure will be surfaced. The overview page shows you all the nodes and VMs updating live in real time. Now, the only downside right now that I can see is that you can't click into individual VMs for more detail, but hopefully that is something that the developers will add in a future release and it being a community project you can simply clone down the repo and make changes as you wish pulse also includes dedicated views for storage and backups which i think are really awesome if you want to drill into those particular performance areas of your nodes or your clusters in the storage tab you can see disk utilization across your cluster and of course in the backups view you can track things like snapshots backup jobs and Proxmox backup server status. I think this is really a clean and easy way to keep an eye on the backup health of your Proxmox environment right inside the same dashboard that you're able to view other performance metrics and keep an eye on the other very important things such as storage. Now on the Docker side, I ran into a small challenge when setting up the Docker monitoring. The initial API token I defined in the Docker Compose file didn't seem to work for the Docker agent onboarding. After a bit of troubleshooting, I discovered you need an env file in the data directory where pulse stores its configuration so this was a bit confusing and non-intuitive i thought but even if you define your environment variables inside docker compose the .env file is still required because Pulse uses it to initialize its security backend. Now, once I created that file with the admin user, password, and API token, then everything started working. But as you can imagine, that being a little bit non-intuitive, it took me a while to figure out exactly what was going on, looking through the logs and doing some troubleshooting. Now from there, I went into the Pulse UI under settings and security configuration and generated a new API token. And what I did at that point was I copied the command from the interface to install the Docker agent. However, when I tried to run it directly on the Docker host, the package could not be found. This was another bit of a hurdle that I had to walk through. The workaround in that case was to manually download the agent from the Pulse GitHub releases page and then install it manually on my Docker host. Now, after I extracted it, I copied the binary into slash user slash local slash bin and created a systemd service to manage it all. Once the service was started and enabled, the Docker host, like the Proxmox VE servers, appeared in Pulse without issue, showing all containers and their metrics in real time. So that was awesome to see all of the information pertinent to the home lab, Proxmox VE servers alongside Docker containers monitoring the applications. Now, after getting both Proxmox and Docker integrated, I really think the value of Pulse 
shines in this case. It's small, it's lightweight. It doesn't require the kind of complexity that you would get with a full Prometheus and Grafana stack. Lots of nerd knobs there, lots of configuration you have to do with this solution with Pulse. You get powerful insights into your entire home lab, especially if you're using Proxmox and Docker to run the majority of your infrastructure. Again, you're going to get visibility on their Proxmox nodes, virtual machines, LXC containers, and Docker workloads all from that single pane of glass from a single container deployed as the Pulse solution. Another really cool thing that I saw in the settings, you can even embed Pulse metrics into your existing home lab dashboards using iframes, which I think is a really handy feature if you're building a centralized operations view and you're using another dashboard technology to view other things and have those shortcuts to other services inside the home lab. Now, if you compare Pulse to other solutions, you'll see where it stands out and perhaps some areas that you might want to go with something else. Proxmox built-in graphs are fine for basic visibility and functionality, but they are limited. And tools like Prometheus and Grafana are awesome, but they can be overkill, I think, especially for smaller environments and especially for beginners that may be intimidated with some of that configuration. I think also NetData is a great system level monitoring tool, but it doesn't have native Proxmox awareness, unfortunately. And I hope they add that to the solution very soon. Pulse, on the other hand, was designed from the ground up for Proxmox. So it has that native integration. It automatically maps nodes, VMs, and containers without needing complex configuration. Outside of the hurdles that I found with Docker, uh, it's fast, it's efficient, and provides everything that most home labbers need, I believe, all from a single self-contained setup. So wrapping up this overview of Pulse, I think it's a fantastic new option for monitoring your Proxmox environment. It gives you that deep visibility into your Proxmox VE servers, your virtual machines, your containers, plus you get the added benefit of monitoring Docker. And I always hated the fact that many solutions either focus on bare metal hosts or virtualization environments, but not Docker, and then some focus on Docker. But with this solution, I think it brings it all together in one slick interface. So it makes it efficient, easy to deploy, and purpose-built for the platforms that I think many are running in the home lab in late 2025, moving into 2026. So if you're looking for a clean, modern, lightweight dashboard for your Proxmox setup, as well as Docker container hosts, definitely check out Pulse. You can find the GitHub link to the project in the video description. Well, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more home lab content, and let me know in the comments, have you tried Pulse as of yet? And what are you using to monitor your Proxmox environment today if it's not Pulse? Or are you using something like NetData, Prometheus, Grafana, or something else entirely? So thanks for watching. Do stay safe out there. Keep on home labbing. And I will see you in the next one.